Looking for the best day trips from Munich? Well, keep watching because we're about to show you some exciting destinations that you can visit in one day from this beautiful German city. Munich is the capital of Bavaria in Germany and an absolute cultural hotspot. The city's history is next to none and it's filled with beautiful architecture, beer gardens, and a gorgeous town hall, making Munich one of the best cities to visit in Germany. We have an entire video showcasing the best things to do in Munich, and as exciting as the city center is, some of Germany's most enchanting destinations are just a day trip away. In this video, we're taking you to the palaces of King Ludwig, the Bavarian Alps, Munich's surrounding cities, and even Austria and Liechtenstein to help you plan your trip to Munich. We rented a car to explore the best day trips from Munich, but you can book day tours from the city and we have the best of them in the links below. Between these choices and its outstanding train system, it's easy to get out of the city center to enjoy all the best day trips from Munich. Neuschwanstein Castle is less than two hours from Munich and makes for a great day trip from the city. This castle is the real life inspiration for Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle and it's easy to see why. It absolutely looks like something out of a fairy tale. King Ludwig II constructed this 19th century palace but never lived to see it completed. However, it is open to the public for us to enjoy its beauty sitting high on a hill. This is why you come early though, because we're gonna get to see all of the views. It's pretty impressive to see this castle that's built high on a rock and look over the water. It's really beautiful. Now that was worth it. So coming out to the town of Hohenschwangau to see Neuschwanstein Castle, I apologize if I'm massacring the words, but I'm trying my best. It's really a great way to spend a day. Uh, there's so much to do around here. There's several lakes and hiking trails, and I highly rent make, uh, renting a bicycle. I think it'd be a great idea and a great way to get around. to Linderhof Palace. This was one of three palaces that was built by Ludwig II, that's King Ludwig II, and this is the smallest of them all, but also, a fun fact, is this is the only one that he lived to see completed. Linderhof Castle is another of King Ludwig's magnificent castles, located just one hour and 20 minutes from Munich and one of the top Munich day trips. If Neuschwanstein Castle was a fairy tale, Linderhof Palace is a royal image with a beautiful expanse of gardens and water features. You can book a full fairy tale castle tour from Munich to see all the castles and we have those in the links below as well. Lake Chiemsee is just an hour's drive from Munich and one of the most popular day trips from Munich. It is here that you will find the third impressive castle by King Ludwig II, Herren Chiemsee Palace. We are at the extraordinary castle here in Chiemsee. It is the largest of Lud King Ludwig's castles. Unfortunately, he never got to see it completed, but we get to explore it today. And it's really worth exploring. The gardens are beautiful, the fountains and the castle and the monastery and the landscape. It's really worth taking some time to check it all out. Why not make a day of it and explore the other islands besides the castle? You can take a ferry to the neighboring island of Frauen Chiemsee to see a convent that is inhabited by Benedictine nuns. Make sure you visit the historic town of Nuremberg. Nuremberg is just two hours from Munich and while we recommend spending longer than a day, you can see a lot in a short amount of time and it is one of the most popular day trips from Munich. We have an entire video dedicated to the best things to do in Nuremberg, but let's take a look at a couple of the not to miss activities on your day trip from Munich. Come on up for the best view of the city at the Imperial Castle of Nuremberg. Nuremberg Castle is by far the most popular place to visit in Nuremberg. 
It has been standing since the Middle Ages dating back to 1050. Take a walk up the castle grounds for the best views of Nuremberg's Altstadt and be sure to take a tour inside the castle to explore the halls that have lasted long after the fall of the Roman Empire. We found one of the most impressive things to see in Nuremberg is its old city walls, which were constructed between the 12th and 16th centuries. These impressive walls still span 5 kilometers around the old town today. Nuremberg is an easy walking city with plenty of things to see from the old town square to its churches, cathedrals, and of course, its timber houses. We highly recommend taking a tour of the Nuremberg Rock Passages. This labyrinth of underground tunnels dates back 600 years and was originally used to cool and store beer. During World War II, it was used as a bomb shelter, as Nuremberg was heavily bombed due to it being a strategic location of the Nazi party. Located on the former rally grounds of the Nazi party, the Documentation Center is where you will learn about how Hitler came to power and how the Nazi party managed to corrupt people's minds into following such extremism. This is an interactive tour that pulls no punches. It honors those who were murdered under the Nazi regime and you will see the horrors that they faced by Hitler's party followers. To pay tribute to those who suffered under the Nazi regime, Dachau Concentration Camp Memorial Site is just 30 minutes from Munich. Dachau was the first and one of the main concentration camps used by the Nazi party in World War II, where tens of thousands of people were murdered. This is a sobering tour, telling of the horrors that Jewish men, women and children faced under the Nazi regime. This is a difficult tour, but it's important to honor those who suffered and to never forget. If you want a great sunrise spot, come on out to Lake Eibsee. The reflections of Germany's highest peak are in the lake here behind me. It's just stunning. The clouds are clear and it looks like we're gonna have a great day. For a taste of the Bavarian Alps, most people go to Zugspitz on a day trip from Munich. The highest peak in Germany stands nearly 3,000 meters above sea level, and riding the cable car is on many people's travel bucket lists. It's only an hour and 15 minutes from Munich, making it one of the most popular day trips from Munich for outdoor lovers. One of the most popular things to do in the area is to go up the Alpspitz. This gives you a great view. There's a, a lookout platform up ahead and you can see all of the Alps. There's also fantastic hiking trails all around the lake and you can hike to the next town. Come to Partnack Gorge. We're here. Partnack Gorge is located in Garmisch Partenkirchen, which is a Munich day trip unto itself. This gorge is one of the top draws, as its 750 meter long path is a hair raising experience right beside the rushing water. And this is only an hour and 15 from Munich as well. Now, this is impressive. Cool rock caves come out to views like this. I'm liking it. That was awesome, what a great hike. And you know, like this whole area is so great for hiking. So if you come to the Partnack Gorge, come here, give yourselves a couple hours, a half day, or if you're really into hiking a whole day, there's trails all the way here. This 750 meter stretch is just one highlight of this area. Making your way along Germany's famous romantic road, step back in time to Rottenburg Olde Tauber. This is one of the most in-demand day trips from Munich that takes camera-happy visitors like us to this medieval gem that is one of the best preserved medieval towns in Germany. It's around two and a half hours from Munich, but its famous medieval architecture draws hordes of tourists wanting to capture that perfect shot. The half-timbered houses and painted buildings are beautiful, and it's easy to see how it has become overrun with tourists wanting that postcard perfect shot. If you want to add another country to your list of day trips from Munich, make your way to Salzburg, Austria. 
The hills are alive with the sound of music in Mozart's birthplace. This picturesque city located on the Salzach River is only 90 minutes from Munich, making it an excellent choice for a day trip. Aside from the Mozart Museum, make sure to immerse yourself in the filming locations of The Sound of Music. See the old town and the fortress of Hohen Salzburg Castle, visit the pristine Mirabel Gardens, and stop by the Salzburg Cathedral and St. Peter's Abbey. This town is so beautiful, it's no wonder The Sound of Music was filmed here. Local beer is a huge selling point when visiting Munich, so having some beer-themed day trips from Munich also makes sense. Once you've exhausted the busy beer halls around Munich, set your sights further afield and consider going to the breweries and venues on the outskirts of Munich. There are plenty of beer tours that leave from Munich and we've listed them in the links below, but our favorite was the Kugelbauer Brewery. We are doing a tour of the Kugelbauer Brewery, and it is one of the most unique breweries I have ever seen in my life. I feel like I'm walking through a Gaudi exhibit. There's a tower with mosaics and architecture reaching 30 meters into the sky, and uh, there's a wall of uh, vice beer glasses, and it's just spectacular. It's colorful, it's unique. You've got to do this when you come to Bavaria. Now that was cool. Time to drink some beer. Another place to visit is the Weltenberg Abbey, which houses one of the oldest breweries in the world, dating back to 1050. This is only 90 minutes from Munich, and the impressive monastery is located right on the Danube Gorge, where you can take boat trips to explore one of the most impressive views in all of Germany and this picturesque village. Take a day trip along the Danube Gorge to the Weltenberg Monastery. It is one of the oldest monasteries, if not the oldest in the world, and they also have the oldest brewery dating back to 1050. The Abbey inside is also really beautiful. Make sure you go inside to check it out. The Hall of Liberation is often combined with Weltenberg Abbey day tours. We are at the Hall of Liberation, and this is an amazing monument that was built by the King, well, commissioned, not built, of course, by King Ludwig to celebrate the defeat of Napoleon. The Victory Monument is a magnificent 18-sided rotunda, which was completed in 1863. Standing 35 meters high, it's an impressive sight. Make sure to go inside and see the 34 winged goddesses of victory. Vaduz is one of the most unique Munich day trips. Best for those with a driver's license and a firm sense of adventure, as it is three hours by car from Munich. Venturing to Liechtenstein adds another country on your passport. In Vaduz itself, there's the beautiful Vaduz Castle, the old Rhine Bridge, and Württemberg Castle. For history buffs with a taste for road trips, there's nowhere better than day tripping from Munich. Our final stop is Berchtesgaden, a picturesque town nestled in the Bavarian Alps. It is one hour and 20 minutes from Munich, and the main attraction here is Eagle's Nest, the former retreat of Adolf Hitler at the top of the Alps. Visitors take a bus and an elevator built directly into the mountain to the top, where there is a restaurant and panoramic views. So when you arrive at Eagle's Nest, the only way to get up to the actual top where you take the elevator is on these buses and they leave I think every 25 minutes. Uh, you want to make sure you come early because it gets packed in the afternoon which we learned the hard way. So uh, that is uh, what you want to do when you come here. Berchtesgaden National Park has hiking trails and beautiful lakes like Obersee and Hintersee. Germany's third highest peak Watzmann dominates the landscape. This is definitely worth a day trip from Munich. And those are the best day trips from Munich. 
If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so you don't miss a thing. We put out new travel videos every week.